so many pins sticking out of it. But I will try. This is my first trick of the evening. Putting on my coat. So the reason why I put this on is because... What do you mean? It's not finished. Okay, I'll only put it partly on. How's this? All right. All right, Mr. Decent. Is this okay? Okay, that'll be next time. All right. <laughs> that was fast. We are so organized here. It's, it's great. Anyway, here we have the coat, okay? So, now what happens is I need t-shirts. I need donations of t-shirts. This is really awkward. I need donations of t-shirts so that I can cut out the letters and use them on this coat. Images are okay too because after this is finished I'm going to do something else using all the images. So t-shirts with words I definitely need. This is a this is a great opportunity for anyone who's in a band to have their band immortalized by giving me their t-shirt. I will sew the name of their band onto the shirt. It might be cut up, it might say something completely different, but the letters will be there for what it's worth. All right, what else do I have to say? Oh yeah, um, I have some flyers about the march to stop the incinerator. If anybody's interested, that's gonna happen on Thursday, I think around six o'clock. Anyway, you can grab some of these, I'll stick them out here. We still have these fine, fabulous clothes from Jennifer Blow Dryer, the incredible thrift store items that are free, absolutely free. However, if you are on the way to check out the clothes and you wish to make a donation to the gargoyle, that will be accepted, that will be fine. All right, I'm gonna shut up in a second. In just a second. But I'd like to thank everybody for buying books from me, people who bought books, because I now only have one book left of my latest book, You're In Your Urine. I do, however, have some of my, my first book. Yeah, I have some of those left. Yeah, see? I, got, I just got a review. What, what was that? Here we go. <laughs> No solids in the piss bucket. Thank you. And you know, that's interesting because, because there are many solids in the piss bucket these days. Just, you know, the urine freezes. That's the problem. It's too cold. So everything, it's like everything in the piss bucket is solid. Everything. However, when it originally goes in, it's not solid. So that, that piece should be revised to say something like, you know, I don't know. Something about metamorphosis or something. Now I'm getting off topic, so I better get off the stage. All right. AKL. Forget it. Yeah, it's cool. Forget it. Forget I ever said it. Didn't mean, didn't mean a word of it. Is that Laura Marie? Is that Laura Marie? We're going to start out with these eggs. It is Laura Marie. They're, they're kind of hey, like, shut up. They're kind of like new. These are called eggs. Each G Z. In Africa, called the carbon hoshas. Because they're different colors. That's right. Now, in fact, different colors are different pitch. But, wow, okay. Monday, I sat on the park bench in Prospect Park, and I just tripped out for like seven hours watching the roots of a tree kind of undulate, and I wrote this song. <laughs> We've come 
To watch the men work, watch the men work, we've come. To watch the men work, we've come to watch them digging holes, tunnel through the earth like moles, labor for a worthy goal, light their pipes and smoke a bowl. We come to watch them chopping trees, branches shatter in the breeze. Sapping sword, this coffin wheeze. Bring the giants to their knees. We come by flying chairs, some too drunk to even care. We come now to decide their fate. Judge the ones they say are great. We say that it's getting late. I've done with the human race. We're tired of watching men work. We are tired of watching men work. It's tired. I'm tired. You're tired. This whole scene is tired. It's time we've all. <laughs> This is the little Gopi Chum. I had a big one. Just, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> you abuse a person, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I remember the melody. Lately, I've been writing songs where I have to worry about remembering the melody now. Okay. Fun. Eight, broad, auction off, lost notebooks. 
<laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's Betsy Johnson! Betsy Johnson! Who makes all that sexy clothes? Who makes all that sexy clothes? Eh, for all those beautiful women that I can't get! That I can't get! I'm frustrated, Betsy Johnson! I'm frustrated, Betsy Johnson! But guess what, Betsy Johnson? Guess what? There are imitations on 8th Avenue. There are imitations all over the place. Somebody's imitating you. Somebody's stealing your money. Somebody's ripping you off, Betsy Johnson. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. He wanted to be the next Marlo Brando. He wanted to be the next Marlo Brando. He was Rocky. He was Rambo. He was Rocky! He was Rambo! But when his woman left him, when his woman left him, he became a wuss! He became a whip! He became a whip! He became a wuss! Ah, uh, Sylvester Stallone, you'll never be Marlo Brando! You'll never be Marlo Brando! <laughs> Dwayne Reed! Dwayne Reed! I'm in a 12-step drug program. The only drugs I get now are from Dwayne Reed. From Dwayne Reed. Blank. Blank, my mother said. You're a damn blank. You've been a blank all your life. You'll never go anywhere because you're a blank. 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 I'm part of the blank. Blank. Blank generation. <laughs> Dancing girls in the 1890s Dance was was an art co was an art form was a great culture was was everything everyone used to dance in the 1890s and the girls would have those long skirts and they would show you a little kneecap and that was exciting but now now my girlfriend is a go go dance now my sister became a go go dance every woman I know is a go go dancer and I don't know what it means I don't know what it all means self. Everybody wants to be an individual. Everybody wants to be a self. Everybody wants to be uh, selfish. Selfish. It's all about being selfish in the 90s because if you're part of a group, if you're part of a group, you never get what you want. You never get what you want. Oh, no. That's right. James Dean. James Dean. James Dean. What happened to you? What happened to you with Rock Hudson when you made that movie, Giant? Who fisted who? Who fisted who? That's what I want to know. And then you had to make that, that safety driving commercial. And then you had to die in a safety accident, I mean, a, in a car crash, in a car crash. James Dean, James Dean, if you were alive today, instead of Paul Newman salad dressing, there would be James Dean salad dressing. <laughs> McDonald's. McDonald's, everybody. Do you see the little guy in the McDonald's bag? You'll be green also if you eat McDonald's every day and look like him. You'll turn green just like this guy. Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. The king. The king of rock and roll. Elvis Presley, you're on, you're on three billion stamps right now. Three billion twenty-nine cent stamps. And everybody's going to the post office. Everybody's going to the post office to buy those Elvis Presley stamps. But Elvis Presley, you were ripped off by Colonel Park. You were ripped off by Priscilla Presley. You were ripped off by the network's movies. You were ripped off by Universal, by everybody. Elvis Presley, you were just ripped off, period. You were a country boy that everybody took advantage of. But if you were alive today, if you were alive today, you would have got a cameo in Reservoir Dogs. You would have got a cameo in Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> safe sex. Put on your bags. Practice safe sex. Gentlemen, put on your bags. Put on your belt. Look, my bag broke. My bag broke. Oh my god, I'm in bondage now. I'm in bondage. Oh my god. Bags, bags, too many bags. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I heard you're opening a new McDonald's. There's a new McDonald's opening. That was incredible. A new McDonald's. 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 McDonald
Jesus. It's too late, Mr. Oh, Decent. Oh, the mic's up 